Now for this first of all we will take x less than 2. For this let's take x equals to 1. So when we take x equals to 1 we get 1 square minus 7 times 1 plus 10 lesser than 0. That means 4 should be lesser than 0. But this is wrong. Hence x less than 2 is not our answer. Now let's talk about the option number third. That is x is basically greater than 5. For this let's take x equals to 6. So when we plug in 6 we get 36 minus 7 times 6 plus 10. That makes it simply equals to 4 less than 0. Again that is not possible. So that means x greater than 5 is also wrong. So that means 1 and third and the fifth option is wrong. Now let's talk about the option that is second where x is less than 5. Here we will talk about x equals to 4. So now we get 16 minus 28 plus 10. That simply gives us negative 2 which is less than 0. But now if we take x is simply equals to 0 in this case we get 0 minus 0 plus 10 less than 0. Hence 10 is not lesser than 0. So this is wrong. So we can say that given inequality gets satisfied for x lesser than 5 but not for all the cases for x lesser than 5. So now we will check for the fourth option that is x lying between 2 and 5. For this we can take any value let's say it is 4 and we get that it is less than 0. Hence our answer will be 4. Now have a look at one quantitative comparison question. It says x is lying between 2 and 3 while y is lying between negative 6 and negative 5. Which is greater? x to the power of 4 times y or x times y to the power of 4? Now column A will be always negative while column B will be always positive. So that means column B is greater than the column A. So x times y to the power of 4 will be greater than x to the power of 4 times with y. Now let's look at one more example. It says absolute value of x minus 3 is greater than 2. Which will be greater? Column A says absolute of x. Column B says 2. Now absolute of x minus 3 is greater than 2. That means x is greater than 5 or x is less than 1. So if x is greater than 5 that means absolute of x is basically greater than 2. But if x is less than 1 we cannot say this. So with this we come to the end of this topic. Hope you understood what exactly are the inequalities and what are the interesting facts regarding it. So thank you and goodbye.